In Acts 1.8, Jesus said, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Notice, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to empower us to be His witnesses in the city and region where we live, in the regions around us, and to the ends of the earth. He wants us to tell everyone that He's alive and that He's still healing and saving people. So, let's write Acts 1-8 and draw a box around it. And then write, Jesus said, be my witnesses. A witness is someone who gives testimony to something they saw, heard, or experienced. In other words, they tell their story. Many people have heard about Jesus healing people and doing miracles, but they don't realize that he's alive and that he's still doing miracles today. That's why we need to be his witnesses. In this training, we will write our testimony, our story of how Jesus changed or is changing our life. By writing our story simply and clearly, we'll be ready at all times to be a witness of Jesus, to tell others what he has done for us. And since Jesus is still working in our lives, our testimony will continue to evolve over time. But for now, we'll write about how Jesus has impacted us to this point. Okay, let's draw a line across the entire page just under what we've written. Then, Let's use two additional lines to divide the remainder of this panel into three somewhat equal sections. Now, let's label each section by writing a word in the top left corner. In the first section, let's write the word before and draw a line under it and up to the other line to box it in. In the middle section, let's write the word how and box it in the same way. And in the third section, let's write the word after and box it in as well. So, now you can see the simple three-part format of your story. You'll share about your life before meeting Jesus. You'll share how you met Jesus. And you'll share how your life changed after meeting Jesus. Now, let's add some prompts to help our story begin and flow from one part to the next. Just to the right of the word before, let's write, there was a time in my life, dot, dot, dot. Then, just to the right of the word how, let's write, but, dot, dot, dot. And just to the right of the word after, let's write, and now, dot, dot, dot. First, I'm going to write three or four keywords or very short phrases in each of these three sections. Don't bother writing words like I was, or, and then. Just write the most important words to help you remember what happened. Since I've done this before, mine will flow very quickly. Okay, now that I've written three or four keywords or phrases in each section, let me show you how my story flows. There was a time in my life when I was so lonely. I was addicted to drugs and alcohol, and no matter what I tried, I couldn't break the cycle. I also had this empty feeling inside that wouldn't go away. I knew that something was missing. But one day I was talking to a coworker of mine named Maria. She told me about the love of God, and she shared how her life had changed since she began following Jesus. So later that night, I asked Jesus to help me. I told him I was sorry for the way I was living and that I wanted to be free. That night, I began following Jesus. And now, I am free from addiction to drugs and alcohol. I have joy and peace in my heart. My life now has a purpose and meaning, and I feel so secure knowing that Jesus is with me every day. Because our story is personal, it relates to other people. And as we tell it, the Holy Spirit not only helps them to think about similar areas of their own lives, but he helps them realize they need Jesus too. Okay, can you see how adding a few keywords or phrases provides enough content to tell your story? You can be in any conversation and say something like, you know, there was a time in my life when, and your story will just flow from there. 
Sometimes you may only have 15 seconds to share your story, so you'll just share the highlights. And here's some good news. If you'll ask him, the Holy Spirit will guide you to share just the right parts of your story to touch each person's heart. You may also have the opportunity to share the gospel more thoroughly.